Hello, this is Mish Music Now. I'm Michelle Weir. I want to say thank you to anybody and everybody that has written in with a suggestion about topics they're interested in. That is awesome. It helps me very much. Thank you. And uh, today we're talking about grooves. And specifically we're getting into two aspects of grooves that are critical to you feeling groove, pocket, feel, subdivision. Number one is the heartbeat. And in Mish speak, the heartbeat is the steady pulse. Obviously, in 4-4 music, the steady pulse is a quarter note, because that's the bottom number of 4-4. Four, four. The number 4 means quarter note. If it's a 2 on the bottom, ha, ah, there you go. That means the half note is the basic uh, heartbeat, or steady beat. So, first you want to wrap your brain around that. The second thing we want to do is get very, um, very familiar and interested in the subdivision of the eighth notes or sixteenth notes or other type of note, the subdivision. What happens between the heartbeat notes? Here's the heartbeat. One and two and three and four is straight eighth notes applying to certain grooves like bossa nova and rock and so on. One and two and three and four. Those are triplet eighth notes, right? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, and two. That applies to swing and jazz waltz and, and some other grooves. Uh, we have dotted eight sixteenth notes. One and two and three and four. That would go to a shuffle. We can even have sixteenth note subdivisions, especially on certain kinds of rock and funky grooves. One and two and three and four and. All right, so that's our, our goal today. And what we're going to do is use our trusty uh, metronome to, I'm trying to get it on the right number. Go, there you go. Uh, we're going to use it at metronome marking 77. Why 77? You know, why not? I wanted to pick one metronome marking that would kind of work for all these grooves just to show you that it's not about actual speed, it's about heartbeat and our relationship to the heartbeat. That's so important. I'm going to say it again. It's not really about the speed so much of the tempo. It's, it's about where our heartbeat is, which is the basic pulse, and what our relationship is to that basic pulse. So we're going to go through a whole bunch of grooves at the piano. I'm going to attempt to play the grooves and kind of talk with you at the same time. So we're going to start with a ballad. is one thing. The style of the piano playing is another thing. When I start going, you know, bass note chord with my left hand, it starts to sound like stride piano. Uh, we can also go heavier with our jazz ballad triplets. And then we've got... A 
Okay, now we could go into bossa nova. And at this tempo, our bossa nova is going to be really, really slow. But, you know, that is the hazard of just choosing one tempo for a, a lot of different grooves. It's going to sound like this. For me to be able to play this with a metronome at this slow tempo, first of all, I've got to really concentrate. Not necessarily that easy to talk while I'm doing this, but, but it's okay. Anyway, it's um, the basic pulse, the heartbeat, of course, is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and the sun. We could actually change this into a rock ballad now, and it would be really similar. The bass line will change a little bit, and it will be a little bit heavier. rock ballad, but yeah, so there's a fine line between that and Bossa Nova. We could go back to Brazil also. swing yet. So um, this is going to be really slow for a swing feel, but check this out. Absolutely, 100%. It is um, swing when you've got that walking bass line. Now, we could go twice as fast feeling, not actually twice as fast, but we can make it feel twice as fast, keep the same heartbeat, and then we're going to call it a double time feel. It's not double time. Double time would mean to actually go twice as fast. And we'll get into this more in more detail in another session. But uh, right now we're going to do double time feel, which will sound like this. Okay. Then we can do the same type of thing with a shuffle feel where we have a really slow version because of the metronome marking 77, and then a double time feel version, which actually will be pretty darn fast. All right, here goes. <laughs> Like 
quite painfully slow for me. I'm sure some people that play blues more than I do could probably cover that quite well and make it sound really happening. Uh, but it gives you the idea, and here's a version of it, brisk. Um, Here is some homework for you. First, listen to this Mish Music Now video again two, three, four, five times until you really get sensitive and aware of heartbeat and subdivision and you get really familiar with how they sound and how they feel on these different you know, grooves. Then speak the rhythms along with them, like one and two and three and four. Change your eighth notes to street eighths when appropriate, change them to swing eighths when appropriate, etc. So for example, on a ballad, you might start with one and two and three and four and one, two and three. When it goes to a 12-8 or whatever, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, 10, 11, 12, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. When it goes to basso, one and two, Okay? Then secondly, uh, play Drop the Needle and listen to grooves and find out what they are, identify the heartbeat and the subdivision, and then speak it in rhythm as we just did. Dropping the Needle, an antiquated concept uh, that is having a renaissance now. It's so, Dropping the Needle used to refer to, you know, back in the days we had LPs, all the, everyone had LPs, you'd drop uh, the needle on the record to, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know why we would, but anyway, we would do that, and we're doing it now because you have LPs now, because it's kind of retro to have them, and besides that, you could use Spotify or a CD or a jazz radio station, and just randomly find a spot in a song and analyze it real quick, and you know, what's the tempo, what's the heartbeat, what's the subdivision of the eighth notes, and then you know, what's the name of the groove, and just go through a bunch of different songs and start to do that. Hope that helps. I do love to hear from you. Please share your love with me. Uh, if you are so inclined with a like or a comment, I, I would love comments. We had a really nice discussion about something going on Facebook recently uh, at the Mish Music Network page, and it a bunch of people came out and had some things to say about a topic. This is, you know, this would be great to do more of. You're welcome to come there and join in and, you know, raise a question or ask a question or get help with something or offer something you know about. Um, also on YouTube, you know, like and subscribe, of course. And uh, there's my website, michemusic.com. Always love to hear from you through that also. Wishing you the best. Take care.